there once again welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a snoot effect in photoshop so this is the original image and i will learn how we can create something like this i have this also on this image so i'm going to show you how to create a snoot effect with just some simple tricks so let's jump into action and see how to create this so first of all i'm actually going to delete this i'm going to delete this effect on this particular image and then let's see how we can create this now the first thing we need to do is that we'll go to our tools panel and then we're going to pick the elliptical marquee tool here you can press m to get that to so select that and then drag on the section of the image where you want to apply your snooze effect i want this in a circular form so i'll press the shift key on my keyboard whilst i drag in order to get a perfect circle now after your selection we want to right click and then select the inverse of this or the opposite you can easily go to selection then select the inverse from here or you can just right click here go to select inverse meaning we are selecting the opposite now when you are done with this what you do next is to come down here to your adjustment layer click on your adjustment layer here and then you go to solid color click on solid color now from the solid color make sure you select black so sample the black portion of this and then click on ok once you are done you can reduce the opacity from here just reduce the opacity and just play with the opacity so you can see how amazing this is looking but remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials now if you are done with this you can actually play with this effect by selecting the layer marks over here thumbnail of the layer marks then you go to the effect and then you go to what you go to filter and then you go to blur and then you select the gaussian blur select that and you can play with this effect over here now it's around 8.2 so you can just move this forward and see how this is going to look like you can see the edges will look very blurry if you indeed want to do it that way then you can just play along with that this is how to create a smooth effect using photoshop we will try this on one more image and then we'll see the difference between that so I'll click on ok and basically this is how this amazing effect is going to look let's do the last one on this image also i'm going to zoom in on this image use my zoom and then let's select this part of this image and then apply this effect i'll go back to my tool here and then pick the elliptical marquee tool and then drag over here pull down shift like i said in order to get a perfect circular selection when you are done right click and then go to so we want to select the opposite of this now we'll go back to the adjustment layer click over there and go to put solid color click on solid color make sure you select black click ok and then reduce the opacity for that so i'm going to reduce the opacity and then you can see how amazing this is looking so once you are done with this now select the thumbnail that's the layer marks and then you go to the filter and go to blur and select the gaussian blur and this is where you can play with this you can see the edges just sample and then play the edges out if you want to make this more visible you can increase the numbers you can see or you can just reduce the numbers as you want so you can see how this amazing effect is going to look like like subscribe for more photoshop tips coding tips and there's a lot coming up so you can't afford to miss it like come away again always visit my channel and comment at the comment section of this video. bye bye